Hi everybody, this is Just Some Guy, and today I want to talk about this video I found with Avery Brooks. I saw this after watching a video by Razorfist. He plans on doing a review of the Star Trek Deep Space Nine series, and he decided to show a clip of Avery Brooks replying to a fan asking him a question about what it was like to be the first black captain on a ship. I thought Avery Brooks' response was just fascinating because he doesn't really give the guy the answer that he was probably looking for. So I'm going to play the clip, and then I'm going to reply afterwards. Um, Benjamin Sisko, do you, I mean, do you feel it was significant in, in television or in society that the leader, the captain, the commander, the kind of leading figure was black? Or is it just he was a character, you know, he happens to be black? Or is it, I mean, did it really mean something? Does it mean really something to me? Or, Either to you, or do you feel like, wow, this is actually a big deal, I'm getting to do something that I think is important? Oh, no. I didn't think that at all. Okay. No, I'm just telling you. <laughs> no. Tell No. If every day I wake up, and I say to myself, okay, I'm going to do a brown male thing today. <laughs> you know what I mean? People say, what was it like being, you know, a black captain? You can't play that. <laughs> Dude, I got you can't play on Star Trek, and guess what color I am? You can't play that. Wow. How do you play that color? You can't do that. What I can do is wake up in the morning, like I told you, as Samuel and Eva's child. And who is that? A human being. And brown and male and American and all these things. That's what I bring. And they saw that and decided they were going to do that. There was nothing in, in, in what I read, at least, which identified him as such. Thank you. That's actually exactly what I wanted to okay. know. Okay. Isn't that just brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. Avery Brooks nails exactly what's wrong with the SJW mentality. What he says is 100% true. You cannot play a brown character. You cannot play a female character. You cannot play a gay character. There's nothing to do with that. You have no material to work with. Once you've established that that's the thing that you're going to do with this character, where do you go? And what Razor Fist did in his video was he showed an interview with the actress who's playing the main character on Star Trek Discovery. And in this interview, she's going on and on and on about how she's the first black female lead and that she's part of a show that has a first female captain and female first officer and the first openly gay character. All these things are completely anathema to what Star Trek is actually about. The idea is that when you get to the future, to the 24th century or the 23rd century with Star Trek Discovery, your race, your sex, your sexuality, your hair, your disabilities, none of that would matter. It doesn't matter that Captain Sisko or Commander Sisko when he started is black. It doesn't matter that Captain Janeway is female. It doesn't matter that Captain Picard is bald or that Jory LaForge is blind. None of those things matter. They don't care. They've moved past that. But when you have that social justice mentality, that progressive mentality, all that matters is the group that you belong to. And when you see this put out into a comic book or to a film or a TV show, you see exactly what happens. This even happens in video games. There is no depth to the character because there's nowhere to go. And the reason why there's nowhere to go is because you can't do anything to those characters. You can't bring them down. You can't hurt them. You can't make them flawed. There's nothing that you can do. They're already perfect. So there's no room for character growth. And there's nothing that you can do to actually show them changing. Because if you change them, you're changing the very perception of who those groups are. So when you look at what, say, Tanahisi Coates did with Black Panther, that's why that book completely tanks. The book is built around this really strange idea that all it's about is them being black. If I just show you black characters, that's enough. I don't have to have a coherent story. I don't have to have a coherent plot. I don't have to do any character development. I can just sit here and present idea after idea after idea, and it doesn't have to make a lick of sense. When you look at what he did with Black Panther and the crew, he took characters that have tremendous depth, like Storm, and completely flipped them on their heads and made them these limited caricatures of who they actually are. So, the books bomb. You look at Riri Williams, same thing. You look at what's been done with Iceman, same thing. 
You look at what's been done with all these female characters that have been introduced or altered in some way. Carol Danvers, Mockingbird. They're all the same way. Nothing can happen. They can't progress. They can't change. They can't grow. And as a result, the books are boring. Because it's only about the identity politics, there's nowhere to go. Now, when you look at what the writers did on DS9 with Captain Sisko, they gave you a very stern man. They gave you a very complex man. This is a man who basically just wants to raise his son and get over the death of his wife. That is it. He doesn't want to be on this station. He doesn't want to deal with the Bajorans. He doesn't want to deal with the Cardassians. That's what you have. And what you get is a man who's trying to work through all these different asides. It makes for such interesting storytelling because it's never about him being black. It's about him as a person, as a character. And for an actor, that's a really juicy part to play because you can go so many different directions in that as long as it's never reduced down to his race. This should really be a lesson for anybody who wants to write characters that belong to different identity groups. You don't have to play their identity. What you have to do is play their character. Who are they as a person? That is what you should be going for. If you do that, it will work. If all you do is go, well, they're gay, they're transgender, they're black, they're Hispanic, they're female, you're just going to lose because you're going to create a character who's probably going to be a perfect character, at the very least in your mind. I mean, when you look at what Mags Visaggio does, those aren't perfect characters, but I'm pretty sure that Mags thinks that they are. So these are the kinds of things that you need to consider, but I'd say go back, watch that video again. I'm going to put a link down in the description to it. By all means, share it with everyone you can because it's such an awesome thing to see someone, an actor, a black actor at that saying, yeah, I can't just play brown guy. That doesn't work. I actually need some meat to chew on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for listening.